A SIM swap is when a nefarious person moves your mobile account from pointing to the SIM card in your smartphone to a SIM card in a smartphone in their possession. You can typically tell this has happened to you when your communications on your phone really get bricked. So you can't send or receive texts or phone calls, you can't use data, and you'll have a message on your phone that'll be something like no network detected. Meanwhile, the hacker now has control of your mobile account. They can make phone calls, they can receive tax, they can use data in your name, on your account, uh, until you're able to rectify the situation with the mobile operator. So if this does happen to you, uh, hopefully you're not out somewhere by yourself and that's your only method of communication because um, now you're gonna have to take the time to even get to a phone to deal with your operator. Uh, once you get the operator on the phone, you know, operators these days, customer service cues can take a while. Um, and then when you get to somebody, it takes some time to, uh, uh, to verify you, especially if you're calling up and claiming that you've been SIM swapped or some hackers got your account, because now they think, uh, is this person a hacker? And so that it takes a little extra time for that as well. But let's say they verify you. Um, how much time has gone by and what have they been able to do uh, with the access to your information. So imagine they just use it to get into your, you know, your personal email. So they can get into work email, but imagine they just get personal email and they, they're a pro and they sync up uh, emails and download, you know, the last three years of your email. And what's in, in there is, uh, do you have 401k information, brokerage, IRA, do you have early withdrawal forms, wire transfer forms, do you have crypto accounts, uh, do you have all kinds of bank and crypto wallet notifications. Now they know that you use, you know, Coinbase or Gemini, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Visa. Uh, you know, they can get that information. Now they know uh, possibly, you know, what apps you're using. But if they don't know at that point, they can, you know, possibly if they log into your Gmail account, you know, can they figure out how what apps you've actually downloaded? Now they go to all the applications that you use to access uh, for financial or proprietary information and say, you know, forgot password. See what kind of reaction they get. And so if your security is set up to where it does things like just simply, you know, an SMS temporary password, uh, they can change the passwords on your account. So now not only does your phone not work, but you can't even log in to your bank account or your brokerage account. And if you want to see the kind of havoc it rains on people, uh, go to YouTube and search on SimSwap News. And you'll find that there's news clips from all over the country of people who have been SimSwap for you know, five thousand, twenty thousand, two hundred thousand uh, dollars. There is uh, one individual who got uh, twenty-four million dollars of assets uh, stolen from him by a fifteen-year-old kid, and uh, there's a number of arrests um, by the FBI all the time that are arresting people from uh, that are inside the U.S. or the U.K. So there's been some articles about um, how they've been arresting people um, over there that have been targeting U.S. citizens. So uh, protect yourself. And, uh, um, you know, God forbid you get SIM swapped when you're sleeping or when you're on an international flight. Because uh, if they, the more time they have, uh, the more access they get. And, uh, um, you know, unless you have things just airtight, um, they're going to, you know, re-authenticate whatever they can and take whatever they can. And uh, if they can't take data, they're going to sell it, uh, your information on the dark web and uh, they're going to get other hackers that are going to come after you. So it's a, it's a long-lasting effect, and uh, you know, hopefully you switch to a Fonies secure and private mobile service. Uh, but if not, just make sure that you're using every security precaution and that you monitor your phone to make sure that you have an LTE signal um, at all times when you expect it.